Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Heather and I'm here with another video for you today. It's been a little while once again, but today I'm sharing a really special album. It's not quite complete, but this is all about my newest my new, my, not my newest, uh, she's my new and only puppy. Her name is Pippin, and we got her back in June, my husband and I, from a rescue place in Lloydminster. They're called Forever Fur Babies Homes, and they are just wonderful. So I will link to their Facebook page if you're in Alberta, and if you're looking for a puppy, they have such amazing rescue animals and they take such good care of them. It's well worth the drive uh, to Lloyd if you're not right close. We drove about five hours to get our puppy Pippin and she's just amazing. So anyway, on to the album. So I have this binder that I salvaged. It was just going to be thrown out and it's a regular binder. Um, I'm not sure what this would have been used for, but it's a smaller size. Uh, the cover is eight inches by nine and a quarter, I'd say, and it's three inches thick. So it's a good size width, um, but a mini size here. And it fits the pocket pages quite well um, when it's open, but when it is closed, I'll show you what happens. So when the pages are at the height of the rings, they do stick out like that. Um, you can see. So I'm actually going to be altering this book and extending it a little bit with some chipboard and recovering it. So that's a project for another day, but I wanted to show you my progress. Um, the album is by no means done because I plan to continue documenting Pippin until the album is full. Um, but to start off, I have this cover, which is made from some canvas paper that I got at Michael's in a paper pad. And on the cover here, I've got a picture of myself and Pippin. Um, she was born April 10th this year, and so I just put that date. I don't have the date of this picture, but it was a couple months ago. And I have a little tab here, so this serves kind of as my title page for the book. And then I am planning to insert this traveler's notebook right in here as part of the album. So there's a lot of information and pictures in this traveler's notebook, as well as everything um, in the album. So my reasoning for this is I knew that I couldn't fit everything in a traveler's notebook, and instead of doing several notebooks. I also wanted to incorporate some pocket pages, so I am therefore just inserting my notebook in here. I may add another traveler's notebook later on, I'm not too sure, but <clears throat> excuse me, for now I'm enjoying this um, little mishmash. So on the back of that cover page I painted the canvas backing with some mists. I used the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Sweet Mint, and I also used a Tim Holtz Distress Stain in the silver. Um, and I've got a few pictures here that I used some washi tape. I created this title using the Tim Holtz little word stickers to create that phrase, and it's just really simple. So then I'll quickly go through the notebook. Um, there is a ton of journaling in here, so I obviously won't read it all to you. Um, but if you do have any questions, please let me know. So I document the whole story of how we decided to adopt a puppy, um, how I'd been looking for a while, how we found this litter. Here's all her litter mates. And Pippin is actually previously named Chardonnay. And here's her cutest little picture, which is the one that actually convinced us to go for her, because we had originally been planning to get a boy, but we just could not resist her little face. Here's our first shopping trip to the pet store before we had picked her up. This is her mom, so she's a husky mix. Her mom looks very much husky, but with short legs, so they figure she's part, um, Corgi, and some of the pups actually have short legs too. Pippin has proportionate legs, so she just mostly looks like Husky German Shepherd now. There's another picture of the mom, 
and a couple baby photos of Pippin. So you can see throughout here I've been using our Wild Whisper Strong and Free collection, which is not only for documenting Canada Day people, it's great for all kinds of things, um, outdoor stuff, just some really versatile papers in there. Here's our adoption photo when we picked her up. The stamping, this arrow stamp is from the Adventure uh, stamp set from Wild Whisper as well. This is all from the Strong and Free collection. There's um, the picture of her in the car with me when we were taking her home. This page I created using Distress Oxide inks. Yes, I am finally getting into them. They're so much fun to play with. So I created this page using the two inks I have so far, which are Peacock Feathers and Abandoned Coral. And they mix really nice, and they even create these grays, which is great. And I used our No Place Like Home stamp set to create this embellishment, and I painted that with the oxides, and then I stamped this one with the oxide, and did my journaling around the edge. I just created a collage of why Pippin is an angel here on this page. And here's some more paper from Strong and Free, a stamp from the Adventure set, and that is called Baby Pip's First Outing. Here, we're getting to the end. I created this stamped background using the wood slices from the Adventure stamp set, and this phrase is from the uh, Focus on You stamp set. This is about her first bath. And then just a collage on the back page of some pictures I printed on a 4x6. And this stamp is actually from our set that's going to be released tomorrow. So that is our, whoops, just sent a pile flying, our Home for the Holidays stamp set. So this is releasing November 1st, um, which maybe in the past, I'm not sure when I'm posting this, uh, but I love this stamp set and it's versatile for things other than Christmas because I used this border throughout the set as well. So that's the notebook and then I'll just quickly show you the pages because this is getting a bit long. So <clears throat> Here I continued to use the Strong and Free collection to document this, including the stamp set. This is a layering stamp from the Strong and Free set. And I just adore these pictures of Pippin because she's posing in a similar way as her puppy photo, so I thought it was really cute. This spread is all about how she loves kids and kids love her, as I've said on my title. So here we are. Um, this part flips up, and there's my niece looking at her. I've got some journaling there, and another picture at the bottom. I just stamped this here, and then my cousin's here, just loving her. It was so cute. And the Forever Blessed sentiment is actually from the Sweater Weather stamp set. So then there's this page. I used this bear layering stamp from the Adventure stamp set and put hug on there because it's like bear hug. So cute. And I plan to do some journaling in white pen on this one. And then a couple more pictures there. The paper, of course, from Strong and Free. I purchased this stamp recently. I love it. Puppy love, it says. And I just embossed that. This paper is actually from last year's holiday style Christmas collection, same with this, so that's mixed throughout here as well. I love the antler paper, and there are two comparative photos to see how she's grown. This is a series of photos, those two, and then this is the next one in the set, so the three photos go together and it's just a really cute little story of my husband coming home and her being excited. Here are both of our moms holding Pippin, and a little story about that. This page is one of those little square pocket ones, and I've got some little photos, as well as some stamped embossed pieces, some sequins, some more of the bears that I stamped, some wood veneers, all Wild Whisper stuff. 
And again, on the back, same idea, more little pictures, some wood, a stamped bear. These I stamped with the oxide inks and layered them. Um, they're really fun. And this is her hanging out with my parents' pups. Some journaling. It was really cute. She's grown so much since then. She's just little in these, so it's fun to look at. Sorry for all the glare. It's a bit of a dreary day here. So this is her first camping trip. And so, of course, it had to use the antlers from the uh, Home for the Holidays set from last year. And I used the mountain stamp from the adventure set. There she is with her toy, and it says first camping trip. Another little insert here with two comparative photos. <clears throat> Just a funny photo I like of her and her treats. I thought that was cute. And then the last page is our road trip that we took to Manitoba, which is an 11 hour drive, and she did wonderful in the car. Just snoozed in her kennel most of the time met my cousin's dogs, and had a blast. So that's all I have so far. Um, I hope you enjoy this album, and I hope that you check out the upcoming Home for the Holidays release that Wild Whisper has. I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon here. So that's about it for today. I'll insert some pictures at the end as well of this album, and I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.